Hello, I'm speaking in English because most people don't understand it. Uh, the intention of making these videos is to show my journey from being just um, a regular writer to becoming an author and so everything that goes along with it. So today I'll be speaking a little bit about uh, editing. So here we go. Um, the first question is can you edit? Uh, yes you can and you should. By my own experience uh, you will learn a lot from your own text. Um, you'll have to try to find all the mistakes that you've made, uh, major plot holes and uh, um, the sort of things that are not really doing justice to your work. You want to you know get it in order to sort of polish the pages and um, actually improve the quality of your work so if you want to edit you should edit you should really you know read your book after you're, after you're done and try to correct everything that's uh, wrong with it so give it a go okay um, but here's here's the, the other thing um, uh, most writers are very subjective to their own work I mean of course you like your book I mean you like it every single thing you know even the mistakes there are so that's why you need people you need people who will uh, be kind to you and to your work who are going to love your book and actually help you improve uh, your writing style first uh, and then help you improve the quality of the work and that's the purpose of editors of professional editors uh, the, their duty is to read your novel analyze it but not just that they have to end here's the thing how they work they analyze every word okay and uh, they question things is this a good word could you use a, a, another word so something different you know something that will make uh, a bigger impact uh, you know there you know words this is what you, you you use this is your tool to sort of convey information to tell a story to uh, make it interesting you know uh, a play of words and, and stuff like that so editors have to bring more value to your novel so if it's on the hundred percent they should bring you know 60% so it's 160% so it's not just a good book it's a great book you know and something you should really be proud of um, so who can edit people think that usually you need uh, you know a lot of money to hire professional editors but um, so what qualifies as a good editor maybe you don't need a professional so maybe there's that option you know I've been lucky to find people who um, who loved my book and wanted to help me so they did it for free so um, somebody who can edit people who are uh, well read people who know a lot about literature and what qualifies as a uh, good writing you know people who read tons of stuff tons of books they should be you know, skillful enough to point out uh, where you made mistakes uh, when your flow is not going great you know because sometimes the construction of words and uh, the construction of the paragraph uh, may not be as readable as you think and so when they organize or reorganize or rewrite or give you suggestions you know uh, they're trying to uh, make you correct this in order for the whole paragraph or a page or the whole novel to be gentle easy for, for uh, read uh, entertaining fun uh, that uh, there are no dead words uh, like um, word count doesn't mean all a lot of thing you know if you're not uh, saying something purposeful if there's a word like sky is blue 
well why is that important if there is no important importance of that that's a dead word you should probably delete that um, so how do they edit uh, they give you suggestions they will give you they will read analyze first a word every word they're going to analyze every word what's the the purpose the, the quality of the word is it um, uh, known for the general public and audience uh, will the reader understand what's you know that word means and what you know it should portray and then they will going to expand that on a sentence and they are going to ask the same questions uh, is the sentence well constructed uh, is it useful what does it say what does it mean what does it suggest you know if there is no use of it they will probably advise you to delete it and again then going to expand that onto a, a page and then 10 pages and like it goes bigger and bigger and then um, at the end they will going they're going to analyze the, the whole novel doesn't matter how greatly written that is how good that writing is if it's useless man it's useless you have to deal with it you have to delete it you know and it's always compromise if sometimes editors will suggest you to delete something that's very important you know for the novel and it's your duty and responsibility to explain to them of why is that important you know of why what were you trying to do with that what were you trying to say because sometimes they will just read it but not understand you know where were you going with it so you have to explain to them of why something is there why did you wrote a scene in that particular way and um, yeah that's it uh, that's what editors do and you absolutely need them because well as I said they they actually bring a lot of value to to your work they will polish it they will <clears throat> give these changes you know they will suggest but you have to, to to write those changes you have to make those changes they're not going to take your novel and say like okay you sit back chill uh, we got this and go and rewrite your book no no they, that's not their job that's your job you are a writer you're dealing with words you know so they will just give you um, a text they will return uh, your text with all these comments and bubbles and everything you know um, um, on the margins and they're gonna give you that and you're gonna read it and then you're going to make a compromise either you're going to accept their you know advices or not because it's up to you that's your work it's your decision and at the end you you are going to benefit from this and of course you're learning in this process always you're learning and you're becoming better you're seeing oh well, they suggested this maybe they uh, suggest you hey can you expand this uh, paragraph and write about it a little bit longer because this is important thing and if a reader reads it for a, a, a longer time he's going to think oh well this probably this is probably important because look how much time and effort he gave to this little thing you know so this is not just a meaningless sort of paragraph information you know and uh, of course they are always gonna throw you a, a ton of ideas and you're going to give them ideas and you're going to work together in order to make a really good good novel and so this is the purpose of editors and don't underestimate a good edit you're going to hate it because many times they're going to offer you some things some suggestions that you're not going to like because they, they go against what you were doing and saying and storytelling and uh, yeah you're gonna gonna hate them but again if you pause and think maybe they have a point 
and this is very important so writing everybody thinks writing is just you know you sit down and write and just give it away to somebody and they correct everything and they just give it to the publisher and lo and behold you know just money starts pouring in no writing a novel is the easiest part you just write down your idea that's the first draft and it's usually the, the baddest version of what your novel can be and when you start employing editors and you start editing you're always correcting you're always polishing you're always making it more perfect more better and um, that's the point of editing that's the point of this whole thing you know you, you make your novel really shine you show whatever this magical world you tell this great story about people and things and that's really what you should aim for is have the best version of your novel as you can and um, I think this is it for this video in the next video I'll be speaking a little bit about my personal journey of uh, how I found my editors and what we went through I'm going to speak a little bit uh, Serbian which is my native language um, moram da se zahvalim svim ljudima koji su mi pomogli prvenstveno udruženju Autostop Restivoričko s Fantastiku i grupi Tropa Cabana na Facebooku hvala ljudi što ste što ste ljudi <laughs> ne znam što drugo da kažem Stvarno, onaj put kad sam podelio video sa vama, čovječe, ne znam, puno vam hvala što ste mi pomogli i naravno hvala u druženju Autostoperskog vodiča kroz fantastiku, svim članovima i svima koji su mi izašli u susret kada mi je pomoć trebala. Ovaj video ili šta već posvećujem vama. Uh, until the next time, take care and bye.